Gaming tournaments can be odd experiences, but since we can't all go to them, we can talk about what happens at them. I'm Falcon, and today on Game Ranks, 10 batshit crazy things that happen at gaming tournaments. Number 10, in a Counter-Strike tournament in Russia, of course in Russia, a team promoter tried to mess up another team by bringing a ton of strippers into the game room while the tournament was happening, who were instructed to do everything they could to distract the players. Now this is why we call people pro gamers. This meant nothing to the players, they were not distracted one bit. That's professionalism. In all seriousness, that is impressive. You can distract me while I'm playing a game by making small sounds. Stop it, I'm trying to play this game! Jeez. Number nine, a professional Korean StarCraft player decided that in order to beat his opponent and make it all the more embarrassing, he would use his foot to play the game. I mean, not just his foot, he used his right hand and his left foot, but obviously that is like outright mockery, essentially. Like, look at me, I don't need my hands. I can use my toesy woesies. And let's not forget, these are people playing in a tournament. Both of them are very good. So it's not like he's just stomping on somebody who has no skill whatsoever. This is a guy in a professional StarCraft tournament competing at a very high level who is using his feet just for shits and giggles, I guess. That is a madman. Number eight, at a Street Fighter V tournament, in a match between Christopher Gonzalez and Naoto Sako, an apparent fan of Gonzalez rushed the stage, tapped on his shoulder, and gave him some advice to win, at least supposedly. I can't tell you what he actually said. But hey, remember how in the first thing I said even the smallest sound messes me up while playing video games sometimes? Yeah, this was a spectator event in which he was up against somebody who was impossibly good at the game. The match was done. He was just obliterated. So they kicked the fan out of the venue and tried to reset the players to where they were before, but then he was beaten still. This was an extreme dick move on the part of whoever the hell that was. Number seven, a professional CSGO player was vac banned in the middle of a tournament. Emilio from the team called Team Property got banned in a match between their team and the Hellraisers 9. And for people who don't play CSGO or any multiplayer stuff on Steam, to be vac banned means the Valve anti-cheat system, the VAC, banned you from playing the game. Meaning, Emilio from Team Property was using cheating software in a multiplayer match in a full-blown real tournament for money. That's money for people who don't speak idiot. Yeah, he got banned from all future tournaments and his team got disqualified from that tournament. Look, I've said that cheating in single player games is up to the person's taste, but cheating in multiplayer games is scummy, especially when there's, you know, a real tournament going on that may be for cash. That's people's livelihoods you're trying to cheat around. Number six, in one Japanese tournament of a game called World of Tanks, they had a porn star who basically acted as sort of a host of the event, but also, and this is the batshit crazy part, when people lost, she would remove her panties, autograph them, and give them to the loser. Now, before you ask why we're talking about this, remember what the title of this video is. And yeah, that's just so obviously outlandish and apparently not that out of place. Number five at a StarCraft tournament in 2012, 3,000 people chanted, we want land, we want land, we want land. Now land meaning local play, but this didn't just happen for no reason. The multiplayer in the game is funneled through battle.net and does not allow for any kind of local play. And in the midst of the tournament, right as a match was about to end, the connection to battle.net was lost and the match was just basically tossed out. When the match was redone, the player who was going to lose won the match, and that obviously isn't fair, but there's really no way around it, or there wasn't at the time anyhow. The lead designer of StarCraft II was in attendance, and as you might understand, why seeing that many people telling you that land needs to be put back into the game might make you a bit taken aback. Number four, a blind Street Fighter V player won a pool match in a full-blown tournament. Now, this is somebody who actually managed to, without seeing a damn thing, know where their character was on screen, what direction they were facing, and exactly what to do to beat a skilled opponent. It's just that a timing-based game that, honestly, I could never play without looking at it, it is full-blown a visual experience for me, was essentially conquered by somebody without any sight 
Like at no point could they have practiced it with sight and tried to transfer the skills to another sense. They had to learn to play the game without seeing the game. That's amazing. Number three, a Call of Duty pro by the name of Revan was accused of not calling out during tournament play. Now, this is one of the best things that's ever happened because instead of starting to call out, which by the way is the act of calling out enemy locations as you're observing the terrain to make sure that everyone knows where they should be focusing their attention. He made note that there was nothing going on and that's the reason he wasn't calling things out. He was further asked to call things out again. So instead of just being like, okay, Okay, I said what's going on. He started to call out the fact that there was nothing there. There's no one boxes, no one boxes. I'm in B. I got B flag covered. There's no one here, no one here, no one here. Yo, I'll see you on front. I'll see you on front part. Be still clear, be still clear. I'm looking closet. Closet clear as well. I'm looking front, I'm looking front. Burns got front. I'm looking closet. Nothing closet right now. Closet clear, closet. He kept going to different locations that he was observing and calling out that there was no enemies or that he was looking at boxes. It's pretty funny and the video clip itself is great. I would give it the full one minute, 40 seconds it deserves and go check it out yourself. But number two, and I can't really say that this has only happened once. It's actually happened several times, but people get too excited about winning. They start to taunt their opponents. In some cases, they refuse to shake their opponent's hands. Like being a sore winner, I think is much worse than being a sore loser because you literally don't have anything to stand on when you say it. If you're a sore loser, it's like, okay, you lost. I understand why you're upset at least. But when you win and you're like, you'll never beat me ever never beat me ah like you don't look like you're dominating these people in any way just so people know like when you do this you look like a damn fool don't do this and finally number one a guy in a super smash brothers tournament decided hey you know what i'm gonna play with this with the fishing rod controller for a different game you know a a, a fishing game yeah so he really reeled in the competition <laughs> I mean, he took out his fishing rod and the other player really took the bait. I mean, he cast it and immediately we were all hooked. That is to say, we couldn't take our eyes off of it. Only it was fishing and you get it, right? It was a bad joke. All three of them were bad jokes, but you get all of them, right? And a quick bonus, there was a Dota 2 rage quit competition, literally in which the idea was to have the best rage quit. I don't know how you do that, but it was interesting to watch the tables thrown. So what's the most batshit crazy thing you have ever seen in a gaming competition? Leave it in the comments. If it happens to be within this video, let us know. And if you enjoyed this video, please click like. If you're not subscribed now, it'd be a great time to do so. We upload brand new videos every day of the week. And the best way to see them first is, of course, a subscription. As always, we thank you very much for watching this video. I'm Falcon. You can follow me on Twitter at FalconTheHero. And we'll see you next time right here on GameRanks.